Icons have become an essential part of any modern web page. If you want users to take your application seriously, you'll need to include them. So today we're going to go through three ways of implementing icons with just a few lines of code. Alrighty, the first icon solution that we're going to be using is Font Awesome. This is probably one of the most common that web developers use today. And so the first thing that you're going to have to do is go to the Font Awesome website and you can just hit start for free. And when you go there, you can enter your email, just create a quick user account. Once you go ahead and do that, you'll end up on a page that looks like this. And what we need is this script tag that we'll be placing into our HTML. There's some nice documentation here if you can't figure out how to do it, um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in the next step. So just copy this kit code and we will get started. All right, y'all, let's open up a fresh document inside of Visual Studio Code or whatever editor you may be using. Let's create an index.html and you can hit exclamation point and then tab and that'll fill in a boilerplate for you. First thing that we'll do is add our style.css as a link. Um, and then we will also import our font awesome library. Uh, this is the same link that you got before when you made your font awesome account. After that, we're just going to add some really simple HTML. First, we'll add a navbar and give it a class of navbar. Inside of that, we'll create an unordered list and fill in some line items. So these are just going to be the um, icons. So inside of each line item, we will add the code from font awesome corresponding to each of these icons. So we're gonna have one for a shopping cart, one for a user, and then one for a location. All right, now we'll dive into styling some of this and adding the styling for our icons. So inside of our style.css, we will open up a star. This is gonna hit everything, set our margin padding to zero, and set our box sizing to border box. It's just something like to do on all fresh documents. Next, we'll hit the body and just set the background color of the entire document to this nice bisque color. And you can see what this looks like. Next, we'll hit the nav bar. Uh, we'll give a background color, it's a nice purple color, and set a height of 50 pixels. And again, you can see what this looks like. Next, for our uh, unordered list inside of our nav bar, we'll set display flex. This is going to make sure that all of our icons are uh, aligned on the horizontal axis. And then we'll justify content flex end so that our icons go to the end of the nav bar, which is gonna be on the right side. And all right, that's looking good. Next, we will hit the list item inside of our unordered list. And so we will set the list style to none to get rid of the little bullets right next to them. Then we will give a margin right so that there's some space in between those and then some margin top so that they're sitting in the middle. All right, looking good. Next, we will just hit the hover state on our list items and make sure that our cursor turns into a pointer whenever we hover over that. And you can see this working now. Finally, we will just hit the icons themselves give them a font size of 25 pixels to make them a little bit bigger, and then set them to that same bisque background color um, so that it has a nice cohesive look. Alrighty, so just to recap, to use the Font Awesome icon library, all you have to do is import the Font Awesome library into the head tag using this script that you got from their website. Second, you can add icons via HTML. Again, you can find all of the icons on the website and you just add them into uh, your HTML. And finally, the last step is just to style it as you please, where you can change things such as its size or its color. All right, so our next solution is gonna be called Ion Icons. And this was originally built for the Ionic framework, but it has since gone open source, so it's completely free to use. These are some really clean icons, um, and they come in an outline form, a filled form, or a sharp form. And so we're gonna be using these icons to see how to animate between different icons, which is gonna be really cool. Um, and so we'll go ahead and import this in just a second. Alrighty, so we are back in our original HTML boilerplate. And the first thing that we're gonna have to do is just include a script tag, and this is going to give us access to the Ion Icon library. This is very similar to what we did before with Font Awesome. So we're gonna throw that in our head tag, and then we'll jump into our body tag. And all we're gonna have in there is a single div with the class of icon and an ID of face. And inside that div, we'll pass a reference. Um, this is an element, an ion icon specific uh, notation. And essentially this name parameter where it says name equals sad is how we're gonna change out these icons. So this sad icon is just a frowny face. 
and then we're giving it a custom class of sad as well. Once that's all set, we're going to, you know, that's the end of the body, and we're going to create a script tag, and we're just going to create some custom JavaScript to essentially change the icon from a sad face to a happy face and have it go back and forth and then also change the color inside of it. So we'll define a function called smile and then inside of that function we'll define a variable called icon. Then we'll set icon equal to the element inside the document with an ID of face and of course that is um, the only div that we have has an ID of face. After that we'll call the set timeout function and essentially what that does is it calls a function after a set amount of time. So in this case, we are calling a function. Uh, we didn't give it a name, it just has uh, parentheses. Um, and then at the bottom it says 1000, which is the time in milliseconds. So essentially we're calling function after, every, uh, after one second. So inside that function, we're going to set icons inner HTML. And here we can essentially just change out the icon. Um, so if you put this in back ticks, then you can just write some HTML inside of there and it'll change it out for you. In this case, we're going to keep it the same exact as it was. And then in the next one, the next set timeout function, which is going to be called after two seconds, we're going to set the inner HTML um, and change the name to happy, which is going to give us a smiley icon. And then we're also change the class to happy as well. Because these are SVG images, we also are able to get um, access to a color function. So we can say icon.style.color and for the second one we're going to set its color to green when the face is a happy face. So that's all for the smile function and then of course we have to call the smile function and then after that we'll call set interval. So set timeout only happens once. If you want to repeat these functions you'll have to call set interval. Uh, give it a function to actually call and then give a time parameter. So this means that we're calling smile every two seconds. Over to our CSS, we're just doing some very basic styling. I kept the same um, star and body styling, but here we're just adding references to the sad and happy classes. We're gonna give them a font size. And again, because these are SVGs, they can be uh, manipulated by font size. And we're just gonna increase this to 500 pixels. And then the next four lines of code are how we're gonna going to uh, center it in the middle of the document. So we're going to set its position to absolute, set its top and left to 50%, and then call transform translate negative 50% and negative 50%, and that's going to put that div right in the middle. And then we'll just do some individual styling on sad, making sure that the color is set to red, and happy, make sure that the color is set to green. Alrighty, so the final solution that we're going to check out is just downloading SVG icons from Flat Icon. And honestly, I find myself doing this more than anything just because I can search for exactly what I need and then I can just have it in my project. Um, so if you're looking for just a quick way to do this, uh, just go ahead and download any kind of icons that you want from Flat Icon. So I'm thinking something along the lines of you know, payment options. So if you type in something like Visa, you'll get an icon that looks like this. You can download it in SVG format. So I'm going to download a bunch of these and then we'll create something using them. All right, so back into our HTML, I've downloaded a few of these payment option icons. And in our body, we're just going to create a div with a class of product. We're going to mimic some kind of product page here. Then we'll add an H1, which will have the title of the product. We'll add an image for the, uh, the product image. We'll add a P tag underneath, which will show the price. And then we'll create another div inside of this div called icons, which is going to have all of our payment options. So I added a Visa logo, an American Express logo, and a PayPal logo. And just some quick styling. Um, again, we have the same star and body tags, but we're also going to add something for our product. Um, this is very similar to what we had before, positioning it in the center. But we're also going to call text align center so that the rest of our elements are in the middle as well. Then we'll hit the product image, just give it a height of 400 pixels to make it a little bit smaller. And finally, our icons will set a height of 50 pixels, so they're smaller and all uniform as well. But if you notice, if we give them a color, say white, then they don't actually change on the web page. So the way that we have to do this is by opening up the actual SVG file. So if you go in and you specify a fill color, 
this will change it. So let's go ahead and do that for all of our uh, logos. Do it for the Visa, the PayPal, and American Express, and we'll give it this kind of coral color. And then when we go back over to our document, we can see that our SVGs are now a different color. Alrighty, y'all, thanks a ton for watching. I really appreciate that. And I hope you're able to learn something new about icons and how to use them in HTML and CSS. So do me a favor, subscribe, like the video, comment, whatever you gotta do. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon.